Taking a look here at Natani Muti, the Denver Broncos six-round pick out of Fresno State. This was one of the three games he played in 2019. He suffered a season-ending injury, but all his medical diagnoses have come back positive, so he could be a potential diamond in the rough here for the Broncos. Now, he does a great job on this play, crashing down on the defensive tackle right here. I think he does a great job initially, and then you can almost say it right here. They could call him for holding on that, but he just ragdolls, throws the guy around. Look, he gets in on the action after the play. He says, look, I knocked you down. I'm going to bulldoze you once again. Again. So here he is to at the left guard position. He's going to crash down here on the one technique, and then he's just going to get violent. Look, he's a violent guy, and right here, look, I love it. He turns, he throws number 18 like a rag doll. I don't know if they would have called that holding, but I like the aggressiveness there by Natani Muti. On this play, Muti gets called for a holding call, but the one thing I like about him, look, and I'm not going to say I'm going to excuse a holding call. Obviously, it's something he's got to fix and, and clean up and make sure he doesn't do a lot of at the NFL level. But one thing I like is that he plays aggressively fast, and so I think you're going to live with that from time to time. As long as it doesn't become a bad habit, he's going to crash down here on the one tech. Then he's going to bounce up to inside linebacker. Watch this. Then he's just going to grab him. That right there, if he just keeps his, his feet square and if he drives his feet, this linebacker can't pull. As you can see, that just that force right there there. He, he grabs a hold of him. It's a lockjaw like a pit bull. As you can see, I mean, he does a great job initially. If he can stay on the inside frame of the linebacker's shoulder pads and drive, he ain't going to be called back for a holding. But, you know, I like how fast that Muti plays. He's aggressive, man. Before suffering some major injuries with an Achilles injury, a Liz Frank injury, you know, one of the things about Natani Muti, he was graded very highly. He was considered one of the top offensive linemen in the draft. The Broncos had a round three grade on him. Other teams had a round one grade on him. He does a great job here in pass protection against number 18. He just doesn't let him go. He's got firm grip on the interior of the shoulder pads. Now watch him laterally move. He does a great job. Look at that base right there. I'd say he's got a pretty good base. He's not too wide. He's at, he's within hip width distance, and he keeps his feet moving. He's mirroring wherever number 18's going. And listen, Minnesota, they're no slouch. They have some tough-ass dudes on that football team. That's a tough team right there. Natani Muti, to be able to go through those injuries, that adversity, you got to be tough as well, and he's exactly that. Is he going to be a starter for the Denver Broncos? Not right now. Not in the media future, in my opinion. But he does have the capability, I think, to be a valuable filling guy if a guy at the left guard or the right guard position goes down with an injury. Look at that right there, the Dancing Bears. He does a great job with his pass protection on this rep. And look, I like the toughness. I like the grit. I like the mirror ability. This is a good rep by Muti, getting up to the next level very quick. That's one thing I like about him. He's a quick mover. He does a great job. Great leverage against the inside linebacker. Seals him off. That linebacker is now out of the play. Number 21, number 18 in Minnesota. They were like, man, I hate going against number 52, man. That guy is a mauler. And that's exactly what Muti is. He is a mauler. Now, watch what happens here. I'm going to break you through this play here that uh, you're going to see Fresno State run. Now, you see there's a three technique lined up right here on Natani Muti. This tackle has got an outside backer right here. So watch what the tackle is going to be doing. He's going to be crashing down here on the three technique. Natani Muti is going to release up inside to seal off number 21 here. They're going to bring number 80 all the way backside to block out this guy right here, the edge defender. I like the play design. It's smart. It's tenacious. But watch Natani Muti's first step. Right there. Boom. He gets across. Look at this angle now. Because the, the play is going off to the offensive right side here, this linebacker is going to have to take an angle here. But look at Muti. He's already positioning to where you can't come this way, my friend. If you do, I'm going to block your ass into the ground. He does a good job. He gets hands. He engages it. Takes 21 out of the play here. That's smart leverage. That's all about understanding the angles to take as an offensive guard against the play side inside backer. I like to play there. That's a good rep there by Muti. It's not that often you see a guard pull in pass protection unless they run some sort of RPO, which on this one, it just looks like a plain old pass here. But he's going to pull from the left guard side to the right side of the field here. He does a great job initially coming down tight down the line of scrimmage. I like the trajectory. Now, when he reaches the defensive line, he almost grabs on the outside shoulders there. That's something he's just got to work on a little bit more, which is something that's completely doable. I'll show you what I mean here. But in the NFL, they may perceive this as a holding call. Watch the initial point of attack, right? There. Okay, you see how he's kind of almost on the outside part right behind the linebacker's shoulder pads. He does a great job adjusting there, but it could be called either way at the NFL level. Always want to be inside the frame. That's the safest bet there, but he's got great footwork. He's got the ability to move laterally very quickly. So far up to this point, this is probably my favorite play that I've seen from Natani Muti here. He creates an absolute hole, cutback lane for the running back. He's going to crash down on the one technique. 
Number 18, man. If you ask number 18 about number 52, he's going to be like, man, that dude just comes at you every second of every play. And look, he's an aggressive bulldog, pun intended, out of Fresno State. Watch him crash down here. He's just going to push number 18 out of the way. And look at the cutback lane there by the running back. That's a phenomenal freaking job there by Muti. And look, there's a reason why he had a high round grade on him when he was healthy. And look, he could be a steal for the Broncos in round six. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got a confession. I lied. The last play I said that was one of my favorite plays. This play is actually one of my favorite plays from the Tani Muti. He blocks three people here. Watch this. Comes down, crest down, defensive lineman, backside backer. Oh, the corner wants some? You could get some too. I haven't seen a blocking clinic like this since Ben Roethlisberger on Twitter, ladies and gentlemen. This phenomenal freaking play here by the Tani Muti. One, two, and three three he's just aggressive he's going to go after a guy in a different color jersey you love that from a guy who's constantly trying to find work i really believe that natani muti is an all-around balanced player a great guy that can pull in the run game is also a pretty solid pass protection guy here he's active he's got great footwork now he's going to help here on the double team and watch this guy right here watch this guy right here he's going to hedge backside Muti's peeking. He sees it. So watch him. He's going to come back. He's going to clean his clock right there. The ball is going to be incomplete, but Muti makes the extra effort to give his quarterback more time to step up in the pocket and throw. So he's engaging here. He's engaging. Eyes backside. Now look. He's looking at him right here, coming backside, and he's going to protect his quarterback. That's my quarterback. You ain't going to touch him. And I like the play. I like the effort and just the ability to go after another dude in another colored jersey. I think with his level of versatility, Natani Muti could be either a guard or a center for the Broncos. He has the versatility to be one of those flex players, and I think the Broncos like a guy like that. Now, on this play, he's going to crash the one technique, get up to play side, inside backer, take number 21 out of the play here, running back reads. It gets a little bit of a hole here, and this is a good job here by Muti. Look, and I, look there's things he's got to improve on. I think his hand placement at times, he plays so fast, so aggressive, that sometimes he comes out wide and gets his hands around guys, but he does a really good job. I'd say in terms of consistency with his base. So what you're going to see here, you got the one technique lined up on the center. He's just going to crash down on there. This tight end wing guy is going to come up and kick out number 41. And you're going to see that here from the running back. But watch Muti. Takes out number 52, then goes in and takes out number 21. He's just a guy that plays everywhere. He plays with a high motor, and he might be a tremendous steal for the Denver Broncos.